Ooh, what's up, Internet? My name's Nerdy. And I'm Claire Roos. And this is The Expanse, Season 5, Episode 8. That's the one. This is called Hard Vacuum, which is a sex toy that keeps trying to advertise on our channel. <laughs> Too bad this video's not sponsored. It's a little pump that makes you hard. Oh. Yeah. You just go... Is give it, it 10 seconds. It's the same it's... as a vacuum? It sucks. What? It sucks. Like, literally, it sucks. Like, it's... Anyway, uh, if you want the full-length reaction, go to patreon.com slash nerdynightly. But if you don't, stay here, because you're already here. And Lord knows you're going to stay after that. Demonetize. Always. Destroy it, you fucking monster. Yeah, he is. Him. You have no idea who I am. Oh, Philip, I'm so disappointed in you. No! This is sick, though. Yeah. See, without the season one moment where the guy survived in space, I would have been like, what the fuck is happening? True. Even still, I was like, what the fuck but is happening? chat had to explain to me that that was possible, because I don't... Before watching The Expanse, I would not have thought that was possible. No, me neither. But apparently it is. You've got like 90 seconds. That's And insane. then you blow up. Love that. Apparently. Something like that. Someone will explain again in the comments. Just scroll for a comment that has a bunch of likes. <laughs> How much farther do you think we have? <laughs> what a shot. What a shot. Like a haze has been lifted. You can focus again. Girl, you got a white. That's dangerous. With what? I don't know. Cloth? <laughs> Leaves? Grass? Just gonna get pee all over your clothes? I can smell again, and nausea is one of the side effects of the blockers. She's got to air dry, like jump up and down a little bit. She has COVID. No taste, no smell. Protein bar don't smell that good. After what I had to eat in prison, they do. <laughs> no, don't, don't do it. This all gonna make you sad. This is what the world's gonna be like now. At least for a while. <laughs> Might find a ship. It'd be really hard for us to get there by ourselves. My dad's house. Does Holden know Amos is on Earth? Yeah, but hasn't heard from him. Right? I, yeah, that's come up. I couldn't remember if he knew that he was on Earth or if he just, like... Wasn't sure where he was. Yeah. I don't know. I'm sure it'll come up in this episode. Welcome to the Expanse, where things are bad, but the humans are hot. You were there at the beginning. And you were supposed to be there at the end. He's giving it right now, and all I can think is, fuck your tears, bitch. I know. <laughs> Stop killing people. She wanted to die. She didn't have to kill Sin. She didn't kill him. You did. So they don't know that she made it. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, Naomi. Well, he was... <gasps> oh! Is she blind? Well, she's not doing great. Philip <laughs> might know that she made it. I he, don't like, know. was watching. Yeah, but the angle, right? She launched up. He might not know. After slapping her in the face, I don't know why he'd lie for her. Yeah. Yeah, her eyes are flipped. <sighs> if anyone can fly a ship without sight, it's going to be Naomi. And it is a ship she knows. Also, it might be voice operated. Just put on some Beyonce. To the left, to the left. Just, that's the... Run the ship like Bumblebee <laughs> using song lyrics. No, she can see. We saw her perspective. It's like not great. Yeah. Oh, it's. She jumped into a bomb. Yes. Oh my god, she jumped into a fucking nuke. 
I mean, yeah, they, they said they were going to use the ship as a trap. This is not what I thought they meant. Fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh. Well done, makeup team, though, hey? Yeah. Look at that. Reminds me of my eye in Verified, a short film you can watch now on our YouTube channel. Oh, it's one of the adults from Charlie Brown. <laughs> Fuck. Did they AI her voice? Doesn't sound like something she said before. I don't know if that's an option for him. Well, it is for me. Not going on a suicide mission just to save his girlfriend. You might be. <laughs> I hate to tell you this, but this is this is what happens when you end up on a ship with Holden. Yeah. You end up on suicide missions you did not intend to go on. Mm -hmm. He has that effect on you. And then you'll thank him for it. It's strange. Marco kills those who defy him and we pick the bodies clean. Repressurizing. Yep. The focus work in there to focus on the faces through the lens, through the that was really impressive. Mm -hmm. Especially when there were three faces on screen. Mm -hmm. Some really talented work done there. Yeah. This poor guy. He's so he's so un uncomfortable. Yeah. What a creepy room to build. Maybe the acoustics are really good. Yeah, but like, oof. They saved millions of lives. Our planet is forever indebted to them. And I am honored to have them at my side. Really strong for showing a secretary general to not look at a teleprompter. Yeah. To have your speech memorized, it makes you seem a lot better at it. Mm -hmm. The first step towards justice and this journey will not end until we are victorious. Yeah. Strong words. Reckoning is a yeah. choice. I mean, how many millions of people just died? Yeah. We're going to war! Oh, it's bad. The situation. You think they believe me? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Fuck. Are they going to see his brother? That's what I thought. And before, I, I know it's not his actual brother. Yeah, wait. We it... got so many comments. Oh my god. Jules Pierre Mao. The insane. Yes. That one. <laughs> no, fellow inmate. She killed her children, all five of them. But she talked about them like they were still alive. Like, would she. <laughs> Even Amos is like, what the fuck? So are you, you in? <laughs> I saw a case of that tequila that, maybe we should take some of that. Oh my God. My first order as president is stop clapping when I walk in the room yeah, for the God. love of God. Oh, geez. Even theater kids don't have that level of narcissism. How vulnerable is it with our fleets pulling back? There are still two Nathan Hale class battleships. Wow, he's like. We seem to be waiting for Anaros to make his next move instead of us making our first one. Our citizens need to see that we can apply pressure. I thought he was going to be kind of a dope, yeah. but he's on it. Marco Anaros doesn't speak for old belters. He acted like he does in his broadcast. Let's table this for now this is very prescient right now it's kind of hard to watch <laughs> you could you can swap out gaza and israel in a lot of these conversations right now in a very uh direct way that makes now an interesting time to be watching this yeah 
I'm only chuckling because I'm uncomfortable, not because I actually find this funny. It's it's very sad. The real world version, obviously, much more than the fictional version. Yeah. There's got to be a way to raise that grate, right? Oh, she's too injured. Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, my God. At least maybe she turned the signal off. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to see some upside here. I don't know how space works. It's a PS Vita cartridge. <laughs> PSP cartridge. No, the Vita didn't. What the fuck? Oh, sweet Jesus. She just has the oxygen in the suit. Oh my god! Oh. The thing with CO2 is you can't tell when you're gonna pass out, right? Yeah. Like, you can't, yeah. Oh! oh. Wow. I think in this case you would feel yourself um, suffocate, though. Oh. It's, it's carbon, carbon monoxide. monoxide. That's yeah, yeah. it. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Which is, and CO2 is carbon dioxide? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We're smart. Science We're probably rules. not. Someone's going to be like, you guys are fucking idiots. I could watch a full episode that's just Naomi <clears throat> doing shit that I don't understand. Mm -hmm. She built a mic? It is a lie. A simulation to lure the Rosinante into a trap. I don't know what channel this is. Or... <laughs> Even if it's working. God, she's amazing. I know. But do not... I repeat, do not approach this ship. Fuck. Maybe she can like put that suit on and then jump out into space and get far enough away that they can like grab her as they're like going and fucking take off in the other direction as it blows up behind them. Depends on where the... We'll get some fast and furious action. Because it's about family. Depends on the proximity. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, this episode's gonna get really dark. <laughs> or very sexy. My favorite part is that's all CGI, and so these actors were yeah, literally just... going. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> just praying to God that the CGI artist made this look okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think they got a lost compadres at that station. I don't know how you can stay in that place. Not everyone needs to be a compadre. <laughs> what a weird line. We just got a message from the Razorback. What do you think it is? I think they found the message. Oh, Naomi. It's Naomi. We found her. This is Naomi the God has the word Sante. If you get this message, please return it. That's not the radio message, though. Also, that message sounds kind of sus. I don't know. I know, right? It's a little Tell too... James Holden I'm in distress. <laughs> I agree we need a response, but it has to be the right one. My job isn't to assess morality. This is simply what we need to do. Nope, it definitely is definitely part of your job. The casualties will be substantial. Not compared to ours. That's 
not how the Geneva Convention works. Maybe that doesn't exist anymore. Fair. We're all going to have blood on our hands before this is over. Well, if it's more of theirs, I'll take it. This guy's not at all what I thought. No, it's great. I thought he was going to be, like, in over his head. Yeah. And this storyline instead is, like, this guy steps up to the job with a mature leadership that I'm curious to see what he decides. I don't... She's about to do something badass. Or something real dumb. Not not that she's dumb, but in a like it's the last dumb option kind of way. You oh, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she trying to figure out what wire is sending the transmission? I don't know. It wouldn't matter now because Alex has already received it, right? <laughs> Girl, Jesus Christ. Ugh. She's got spunk. You know what I mean? She's stronger than I am. I would have been like, well. <laughs> sucks to suck. Mostly because I would have no idea what's going on. <laughs> You're like, I don't know how a ship works. No. Yeah. Naomi is not about that ship. How would you know? Because she's dead. <sighs> the truth is, Naomi Nagata was a traitor to the belt. And now she's dead. For shiny Marina! It's not a great way to make allies. Yeah. You can be honest about being so callous about it. I mean, look, she, her tact is not hers. She does not have Marco's charisma. No. <laughs> Drummer's about to fucking... Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna hurt tomorrow. Okay. I feel like I was holding my breath that whole time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Whoa! Sorry about what happened earlier. Drama's famous temper. <laughs> I hate this woman. And she turned her back on us and left. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, the spins would be bad enough in gravity. But the spin while actually spinning. Yeah. See, this is the problem with you guys not being in seasons one through four, is you don't realize this crew does the impossible, okay? They, they pull that no shit ships. off. She's brilliant. Oh, that was... Wow. Remember that um, Twitter thread from that woman who was like, you want a show that does nothing political, no wokeness? Yeah. The it's definitely the expense. Oh, um, wow. This show's amazing. Yeah, I was like, I was so confused. I was like, what is she doing? I'm glad that they cleared that up there at the end because I was like. Mm -hmm. I, I thought she was going to like, I thought she was going to try and like insert Morse code into it. But to uh, to use the tempo of the message to adjust the message is brilliant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. It is a weird time to watch the show right now. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. The, 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 the discussion of proportionality, um, for, for those who watch on YouTube, this probably is, it's been a few weeks, but um, in real time, uh, the South African delegation to The Hague just last week, last week now, um, presented its genocide argument against Israel in the situation in Gaza. And one of the elements of the genocide convention that we've all agreed to as humanity is the concept of proportionality in combat. Um, and that was a you know part of what they discussed. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it is just interesting for the, that word in particular to come up as it is such a big part of the conversation about what uh, our uh, legal understanding of what genocide is, uh, given the modern conflict 
and the ways in which this this very specifically is um, running in parallel with the modern conflict as we are watching it is yeah it's very poignant yeah. at the moment yeah and, and you know the, 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 it's the same arguments that we hear daily right now right of the like the the level of violence that you return with might not solve any of your problems but it will create more enemies and how do you end a situation like this without creating more enemies and i don't know that there's a great answer to that on either side i don't know that human beings inherently are forgiving enough on either side to ever you know to successfully do that Mm -hmm. but um yeah, a, a year ago, watching this would have felt very different. Yeah, for sure. Um, I just would have, right? It just it, it wouldn't feel so much like what we're watching day to day play out on the other side of the world. Mm. Mm-hmm. That is fair. Yeah, and that just dominates the episode for me. I think it's an excellent episode with incredible acting. I think, um, obviously, uh, Naomi is just to to carry the scenes by herself so strongly. Yeah. Throughout this entire episode, she she brings such an incredible strength on screen, uh, a presence that's just really remarkable. Yeah. Um, so little dialogue, but so much emotion, so much care and brought into the performance. Yeah. Uh, I thought. And still, so much character. Mm-hmm. I I also think it was smart to start the episode with the hope of Amos and Clarissa getting to Baltimore and the idea of them getting off. I think that the episode ends so dark that starting with um. A little bit of brightness. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not even that bright. They haven't even really succeeded yet. But Oh, no, they find a pile of dead bodies. Yeah, the like... opportunity for them to survive exists. Yeah. To, to start with that and then introduce that there is no way out for Naomi. Mm-hmm. Uh, that she's stuck on a ship that you can't even get close enough to to try and save her. Uh, I think starting with a jo- the not joy, but the, the positivity of that. And yeah. then, you know... It was a smart structure for the episode. I think the writers did an excellent job building the arc of this episode. Yeah, they were like, this is going to be a lot for people. Yeah. So we need to uh, balance this out. And I think that that's really important when writing a show like this and a show that is thought-provoking because people disassociate and disconnect. They get, like, you can feel too much. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And then it stops. And you're like, well, that there's a wall and I've hit it. Um, and I think um, a lot of the most effective art is something that takes that into consideration, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have, you know, seen movies that are just sad and horrible for the whole thing through. And it did, did not move me. Yeah. It's just sad. And you're like, that, you know what? That fucking sucks. But it's the... Um, it is the ability to pair the light with the dark that makes both the light and the dark that much more impactful. Absolutely. Yeah. No, absolutely. And I, I think that the show is doing a great job of pointing to the fact that human beings are capable of that joy in the midst of these kind of situations, right? I, I think that there is the, the scene at the table with the water, right? It's a bit goofy, right? But it's goofy because humans are goofy like that. Yeah. Where no matter how dark things can be, we will find a way to laugh together. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> given the world right now, like sometimes just laughing together is, is kind of what a lot of people are looking for. I, I honestly think that that's why a lot of people watch reaction content. And I, I think that that's why when we don't enjoy something, when this experience of reacting isn't um, positive, but we're being critical of something... It's, I think it's why we have such a strong reaction from people because that's not what they turn the video on for. Yeah. And I'm not willing to fake react so that the audience can have a better experience, right? That That's not what we do. Yeah. And there are channels that do that and power to them. I, yeah. I don't think that if you are reacting positively to everything in order to give people a positive experience that you are lying or manipulating, I, I don't actually agree with that. I think that those channels do that because the the goal that they're trying to create is a space of positivity where people who click on that video for the joint laughter are getting that experience, right? Yeah. That it's a safer experience. I don't think our channel is safe in that way mm-hmm. because even shows that we do love, I will call out a bad episode and I'll sure. be like, this was miserable, why? And that it's just a different kind of experience and I know that we would have a lot more followers if we faked it. I, I just know sure, that we would, yeah, yeah. right? And like both, are, both things are valid. Yeah, and um, the, both things have a purpose on the site. Yeah, 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 for sure. But I, I think that this show is a tough show to do that with because 
the 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 poignancy of this season i think is really important right now mm-hmm. and i think given the you know like not not to get too political but in my worldview like proportionality is not something that is necessarily being thought of very strongly in the israel gaza situation i i just don't think so right i, I think that proportionality has um has leaned a little too far in one direction uh and i would hope that i don't know that cooler heads would prevail but stuff yeah Unfortunately, humans are emotional creatures, and we can't all have Avsarala advising us. No. It is interesting, right? I, I think that, you know, I don't know. It, 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 is a, it, is a, it is telling that human beings are consistently failing to learn the lessons of our conflicts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we keep pulling the same shit over and over again. Yeah. And then we wonder how we keep ending up in the same situation. It's, it's a weird... Yeah. That was heavy. Yeah. That was a, that was a heavy episode of television, but mm-hmm. I kind of loved it for that. I, I do appreciate that the show, you know, I, I think that one of the things that I criticized season four for was that I found Murtry to be blandly villainous mm-hmm. in his, it was very mustache twirly for me. He was a very obvious villain. Mm-hmm. And... I think that Marco Inaros and his faction are presenting a much more nuanced and complicated version of why human beings become villainous um, at the scale that he does. Yeah. And I think that the storytelling of that has been really effective this season, and it, it is continuing here. They're not pulling punches in terms of diving into the narrative of why this conflict is happening and into the fact that the Earther's response to the situation is reflective of their past actions in this situation yep and i think there's a lot of lessons that people who aren't uh you know in you know youtubers in canada could learn from this but (laughs) yeah yeah if i could like you know tweak one tiny little thing about the episode um that scene where they're all at the table Mm -hmm. um i do think it's a little stereotypical for uh, all the women at the table to be like, no. And all the men to be like, yeah. Um, that, That's for, for my personal taste, I think that you totally could have had variety in who was voicing what opinion. Um, uh, ins- but that yeah, is, don't draw it along gender lines. But that is just like a very, very minor critique of, uh, uh, you know, a like pretty much 10 out of 10 episode. I, I do. Th- well, but the guy was the only one who was sort of bringing. The admiral was the only one. No, it was the other military guy as well. Who was supporting him, and it yeah, was the two yeah, women across the table no, who were against it, and then, yeah, yeah, it just was interesting. Obviously, the um, but women David, are empathetic is, and yeah. men are strong. Yeah, yeah, so men go to war. So I've been told. Um, but I, I do appreciate that. Obviously, David, as Secretary General, was not obviously like swayed by anyone's like emotions like he did he does seem to be um much smarter than i would have given him credit for much more level-headed um and steadfast Mm -hmm. and uh, i think he's gonna be a really interesting character i i hope we uh, i hope he sticks around he surprised the heck out of me i thought he was wonderful this episode yeah and i like i I really like the like little thing given where how strong his opinions were in this episode i don't know where he's gonna land I think that he played both sides of the argument well enough that he could go either way in these final two episodes. Well, and, and I would buy that it was a natural progression of the character that I've seen, and yeah. I like that. Yeah, he like he was like, I think we need to do something, but he's not. He doesn't seem convinced that this is the thing to do. Um, you know, he wants Earth to not wait to retaliate, but to show face and Mm -hmm. i can understand that train of thinking but i also appreciate that he's like this might not be it yeah so yeah we'll see which direction he goes well that was a completely non-political discussion of a completely not woke show uh that had no no, nothing real world about it according to that one lady on twitter uh, if you like this video, God like and subscribe Mary. to the channel. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Leave me in comments down below because the algorithm god is hungry and we must feed her this episode that algorithm goddess is. Naomi Nagata. Yeah, I was like, is there any... Honestly, it no, could Carmina, be drummer. Carmina yeah. needs some bread in her stomach to soak up all that alcohol. Jesus Christ, like... Just chugging single malt. I've done it. It's not good. 
Yeah, no, that's uh, no. Mm-hmm. I've done it. It's not. It's not good. Don't don't chug whiskey. Don't it's do it. It's bad for you. Anyway, uh, if you want to follow us on the internet, you can. I'm at Nerdy Nightly. I'm at Clars Polaris. And as always, y'all, do something nerdy tonight. Bye. Bye.